back to my channel it is your girl jasmine Destine. if you are new here if you're old hey girl hey what's up what's goody um i'm about to do my wash day routine my curly hair wash day routine i actually have not done this routine on camera like for youtube in a very very long time like it's been a couple of years so i just wanted to do an updated one for you guys i also haven't been wearing my natural hair out as often as i'd like to because i've been wearing a lot of wigs but because you know the wigs is cute but we also gotta we gotta appreciate the hair that we do have on our head and we gotta let her flourish sometimes and it's hot, it's summer, like, <laughs> girl, just let the afro frolic, you know, let it, let the fro just go in the wind, you know, so I'm about to do my curly hair wash day routine, and I wanted to do it with you guys, so if you guys are excited for today's video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, we're on our way to 100k, it's a road to 100k on this channel, on high period, um, I love you guys so much, and yeah, let's just get right into it alrighty so we're starting out with these plaits that I got on my head I cornrowed my hair um, into these really messy braids so I could wear my wig I had a wig on for pretty much like a week so I do have some product buildup I have some dandruff buildup I've got dry scalp you know but that's like regular I feel like don't come for me in the comments like my hair is still healthy okay I just have a dry scalp um, I saw all of your comments on my body care routine video because I did like my wash and go routine in that video as well um, I'm gonna still do what I've been doing because I really don't see no issue with it my hair is this short because I cut it this short not because it doesn't grow or anything like my hair is good don't don't worry guys I've been on this planet for 24 years and for about I would say what's the math since I was like maybe like 10 I've been doing my own hair so girl she okay but I'm just taking out these braids I'm taking them out and I'm showing you guys how dirty my hair is but like let's be real let's be candid about it let's be up front like I had on a wig for a week so you know my hair is dirty but that's okay, because uh, we finna wash it and clean it up real good. Ooh, look at all that. Mmm, nasty. But it's also like, it's gonna be oddly satisfying when I'm watching, like, when I'm washing it out. It's gonna give you that oddly satisfying feel, you know? But I'm just parting and showing you how dirty my hair is. <laughs> um, so I took out all of my braids. This is what my hair looks like. I'm about to wet it. It's coming back I just need it to you know every time I close a curtain I gotta like probably wash up or do something you know shave exfoliate something so um, wetting my hair under the water making sure that every inch of my hair is wet from root to tip And then I'm gonna go in with my shampoo. This is the Haas Argan Oil Repairing Shampoo. So this is different than the one with the pink top. Um, this one's for like color treated, I think dry and like damaged or heat styled hair. Really, really love this shampoo. I just like all of the Hask products, honestly, for your hair. Like, like I said in my body care routine video, this shampoo gives me that extremely like clean feeling on my scalp, but it doesn't make my hair, it doesn't dry my scalp out or dry my hair out. Like I feel like a lot of shampoos that I've used in the past will really dry and completely strip my hair of like all the natural oils and just like any kind of moisture and my hair will feel so dry before I go in with conditioner but this shampoo actually doesn't make my hair feel like that at all um, but I still get that really nice clean refreshing feeling on my scalp and it just gets all the product out I really 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 love this shampoo not sponsored just a genuine fan and I buy it from CVS so I went in and I shampooed and I'm going in with more shampoo so that was like the first 
little um, application of shampoo and then I took my Demon brush and you saw me like back combing and that just really helps me get all of the built up product off of my scalp and then when I go in with this second time I really just try to exfoliate and massage my scalp as much as possible massaging your scalp is also really good for promoting hair growth um, you want to stimulate those follicles as much as possible because um, that's really what's going to help your hair grow so I make sure to really like massage my scalp as much as possible while I'm in the shower under the hot water while my follicles and my pores are open from the steam and everything and yeah so I'm going in and I'm washing out that shampoo and like you can even see like my hair still has a really really nice shine to it despite the fact that I just shampooed you know like I feel like most shampoos I don't know I my hair just naturally like in the front is a bit drier like the the front section of my hair is a little bit drier but this shampoo literally does not dry my hair out I love it so much then I'm going in with my Aussie three minute deep conditioner moisture um I ran out in the first bottle but you know I had to head a backup <laughs> okay so I go I'm very generous with this stuff because this deep conditioner when they say three minutes they freaking mean three minutes like this stuff sitting in your hair for three minutes oh my gosh whatever knots whatever tangles you have in your hair it literally like melts away I don't know how it does it but this conditioner is the truth I also use this in my body care routine video when I was in the shower and I swear wear by this conditioner it is so freaking good oh my gosh so I apply it to my hair I finger detangle first and then I go in with my Demon brush and I just gently comb from root to tip all throughout my hair just making sure that I ev evenly distribute that conditioner the deep conditioner and I let it sit in my hair probably for like it says like a minimum of three minutes I probably leave it in anywhere between five to ten minutes depending on other things that I need to do in the shower so if I'm like washing up you know if I'm shaving or if I'm doing a mask I do that and then I showed you guys my little um, knot of hair that came out of my head that wasn't like one knot though but that was like all the hair that I accumulated that came out which wasn't a lot I didn't have a lot of hair loss which is good then I let it sit in for like five minutes and then I went and I rinsed it out and my hair just feels so freaking soft I wish I could just let y'all feel how soft my hair feels because it just feels amazing So I washed up and everything, washed my face off, and now we're going to turn off that water, honey, and get out the shower so we can finish this curly hair routine. Okay, period. Um, squeezing out all of that excess water in my hair. Hair is flourishing. Like, my hair feels really, really good. Feels really soft. Feels very healthy. Looks very healthy. I love it here. Period. Dry that face off, sis. Ooh, and we're we're back we're back okay so um my hair didn't put anything in it as of yet i'm showing you how clean my scalp is i got a little bit of i don't know what that was but got a little something there but my hair is very clean the scalp is very fresh we don't got no product build up no more dandruff it's doing great it's doing well i'm parting it right now and i'm just gonna like comb through everything once again just to make sure that i don't have any knots um i'm about to apply some oils to my hair i like to apply to my scalp and just to my like edges i go on with two separate oils so so I section my hair in two um, halves and I'm going to clip up one side just so that it's out of the way while I work on the other side. Um, these are the two oils I'm going in with. I have tea tree oil and I have Jamaican black castor oil, um, mango and papaya scent. It smells absolutely amazing because if you've ever used like straight castor oil or Jamaican black castor oil, it don't smell that great. It kind of smells like cheese to me. And who wants their hair to smell like cheese? Nobody. So make sure you get the mango and papaya um, 
Jamaican black casserole because that smells like the tropics it smells like the islands it smells amazing and I go in and I part my hair section by section and I'm just applying the tea tree oil directly to my scalp the tea tree oil has vitamin E in it it has aloe vera um, it's great for fighting fungus which is why I like applying the tea tree oil directly to my scalp and then I go in with the castor oil and I just apply it to my hairline like where my baby hairs are and my edges because I want those to flourish and I apply it down the middle of my hair and then I apply it along the nape of my neck in the back and I'm gonna just repeat the same process on the other side um, but I really do like to use the tea tree oil for that anti itch property as well because my hair does tend to get like itchy like my scalp will get itchy probably like two to three days no I would say three to four days after washing my hair so but with using the tea tree oil I've noticed that I don't have that um itchy feeling like until maybe like five to six days after washing my hair so I really like to use this and incorporate into my routine so I'm just going in and I'm making sure to apply that tea tree oil all over my hair and then I brush everything through with my Demon brush to make sure that it's just evenly distributed and then also it's kind of just like massaging my scalp as well. Really love my Demon brush. Um, and like I said, I go in with the castor oil right on the edges. The castor oil is a lot thicker, so you want to do um, your oils and your products, your hair products, your cream products from like lightest to thickest so that's why I went in with the tea tree oil first and then I went in with the castor oil and I'm gonna do the same thing with my products so this is the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Styling Lotion from their Jamaican Black Castor Oil line I really really love this stuff it's a very lightweight cream so if you're worried about products being too heavy or weighing down your curls too much this is not going to give you that issue because it's a very lightweight styling lotion um, and it has the Jamaican Black Castor Oil in it so again it's just gonna help promote healthy hair growth, new hair growth. I really, really love this. I make sure to apply a very generous amount to the front and the back of my head, and then I use my Demi brush to brush everything through to make sure that it's evenly distributed, that it's getting to every single strand on my head. Um, and then I go in with the Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk. This has silk protein and neem oil in it. Been using this for years, literally for years. This one is a bit thicker, as you guys saw when I was squeezing it out of the bottle. But I like to finger rake this through my hair, making sure to get everything, making sure to get the hair that's all the way underneath on the bottom i really really love this stuff uh, and i love that it smells like coconut it just smells really really good every single time i do my hair and then i like go out or you know yeah literally go out i always get compliments on how well my hair smells and i feel like it's because all the products i use like smell so good the last cream product that i'm going to use is this cantu moisturizer this is a curl activating cream when they said activating they literally meant activating because i don't know what i was doing before i was using this product but this product makes my curls pop so much it literally makes my curls look so defined and just so like curly and coily like anybody with natural hair knows that we have like different curl patterns kind of like all over our head we may have curls that are a bit looser or some that are a bit tighter or some that are a bit frizzier this stuff literally just snaps my hair into shape so well it makes my curls look so good all over my head um, I feel like I don't ever have like dull curls when I use this product so when I started using this in my curly hair routine my my curls never ever looked bad like after that they look so freaking good you guys are gonna see like once I go in and I diffuse but I'm going in with more of this stuff because I absolutely love it that much like it's so freaking good so I'm making sure to flip my hair of course 
um, flipping it upside down and then I'm scrunching it upwards like I, I know you guys were watching as I was explaining but you want to just take the product in your hand and you want to like scrunch your curls together to kind of like gather them and make her like I don't even know how to describe it you just want to scrunch them though and then I'm going in the last thing I'm going in with is this hold and shine mist from Shea Moisture this is great for adding a really nice shine to your hair. I absolutely love to use this. It does help define your curls a little bit more. And then I go in with my diffuser. I flip my head again and I just make sure to really dry my curls. Because I used to do like a wash and go and like let it air dry. But I honestly love a volume with my hair. I want as much volume as possible, especially since it's short. I feel like I'm not really a fan of when it's like really um, flat. So I'm going to diffuse, even though it may give me a little bit of frizz. I don't mind the frizz. Um, so you don't have to diffuse, but I was also on my way somewhere, so I needed my hair to be dry. So I'm making sure to diffuse my crown first. I'm focusing the blow dryer on my crown so that those roots can get dried first and also give me a little volume. And I'm making sure to diffuse with my head face down because I want the hair to dry like kind of sticking up <laughs> I know that sounds kind of crazy but literally like I want my hair to stick straight up like I love when it's big and curly and like a huge afro I feel like that's when it looks the best especially at such a short length so I'm making sure to just really dry my roots look at my curls they look so healthy they look so defined they look so shiny then I go in with my pick and I make sure to pick out my crown because like I said I like volume also my hair has gotten so long that the pieces in the front are like super long and they kind of just hang into my face like a little bit too much but I don't want to cut them because I'm actually working on growing my hair out I know it's kind of crazy because I've had short hair for a minute now but like I think I'm over the short hair phase I think I want my hair to be a little bit longer like maybe at least like shoulder length so I don't want to cut it so that it fits like my face better and it frames my face but I do want the hair to kind of like sit up higher and not be in my eyes which is why I'm picking it and I'm looking at it and I'm like oh it would be kind of cute if my hair could just stay like this I would probably clip it but I didn't end up doing that instead I was like let me put it in a pineapple because this is the last step of my curly hair routine I put my hair in a pineapple and I diffuse it while it's in the pineapple and putting my hair in a pineapple always gives me like major lift at the crown um so I love doing this sometimes I'll even put it in a pineapple and like do my makeup get dressed like do whatever else I need to do to finish getting ready and then when I'm done with everything I take it out of the pineapple and I have way more volume um, at my crown and my hair looks a lot more lifted and fluffy and just beautiful so that's what I'm doing right now Alrighty, that is the completed curly hair routine. What did you guys think? Do you like my routine? Does it need work? Like, I don't even know. Like, I've honestly, all of the products that I've been using, I've been using for years. Um, and I absolutely love them. I always love the way my curly hair routine comes out. Like, my curly hair results. Um, my hair is definitely a lot longer than I expected it to be, which is why like this hair is just like falling like right on my eyes. I low-key want to cut it, but I'm not going to do that right now because no. But this is the little fro. Let me do a 360 for y'all. Okay, period. Cut by me, styled by me. <laughs> No, seriously though. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the tribe. We're on our way to 100K. I love you guys so much. Um, comment your comment your favorite part of the curly hair routine down below. Let me know which part you liked the most. Um, honestly, probably gonna be rocking my hair like this for a little minute because I just don't feel like putting wigs on. But then again, like, that might change because you know I just be changing my mind you know how air signs be but um <laughs> just a little fro for me 
I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you on my next upload. Bye.